Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number one from the June 2024 uh, Pure Mathematics, the um, International A-Level at Excel exam. And this exam I'm going to go through one by one, each question, and I'm going to save them as separate videos. I'm going to, you know, to take my time and make sure that I explain things in a way that will benefit the students that I'm teaching and you know anyone else who wants to basically benefit from them um, don't think it's going to be a walkthrough where I just read the mark scheme I'm going to try to explain things in a bit more detail um, in order to help my students to understand things properly so uh, you know I might take a bit longer than you might want to want me to but you know this I'm, I'm, I'm doing this as for my own particular reasons so please just keep that in mind right so now Question number one is about binomial expansion. So it says, find the first four terms in the ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of one, one minus a sixth x all to the power of nine, giving each term in its simplest form. So we want the first four terms of this expansion. So when we want to expand something like this in uh, P2 mathematics, where we only deal with positive integer powers, we're going to use the NCR method. And it's based on basically the pattern that we realize when we start expanding bracket brackets. There's a certain pattern that you realize, and we're going to apply that pattern to this particular question. So basically, you, I'm, the way I do it, I'm going to put like three sets of brackets, the, the one, two, and three for each of the terms. Okay, so the first bracket is for the NCR. So on the top here, you have the power to which the bracket is raised. So that's going to be 9. And then I'm going to write the first term in the first bracket. When it's 1, we don't really have to write it. Okay, but I'm just going to do it anyway just to give you the general idea because in case it was something else. And then the next term, including its sign, is written in the next bracket. So minus 1 sixth x. And then I want to have ascending powers of x. So if the powers of x have to be ascending, this has to start from 0. Now these two powers must always add up to, these two powers must always add up to that power. So that's 0 plus 9. Okay, and then what goes over here is either of these two numbers, it really doesn't matter. Normally we would put that number there. Okay, but if you put 9c9, it will still be the same answer. Okay, so that will give me the coefficient of, that will give me the first term. Okay, we want the first four terms. So for the next term we do the same thing, but we have to move on slightly. So I'm going to still write minus 1 over 6x here. I'll still write 1 here, and I'll put 9 here still. Okay, but now the powers will be different. Ascending powers of x, so this power has to increase by 1. These two have to add up to 9, so this has to become 8. And then I'm going to put a 1 here, or an 8 here, it will give you the same answer, it doesn't make any difference. And now I'm going to do the third term. Okay, so I need a bit more space here, let me just make some more space. Okay, so now I'm going to do the third term and I'm going to follow the same procedure. I'm going to have minus 1 over 6x. I'm going to have 1 and have 9 here. Okay, now what's going to happen is this has to increase by 1, so it becomes 2. This has to decrease by 1 because it has to add up to 7, the, the, to 9, both of these, so it becomes 7. And then I'm, I'm going to put the number here, there. I could put 7 here as well, it doesn't make any difference. So now I've got the third term, that's one, two, three. I have one term left to go. So I'm going to do the same thing. I have minus one over six x. I have one and I have nine. So this is going to become three. This is going to become six and this is a three here. And now I can work out the value of each of the terms. Now, nine C zero is one. Nine, anything N C zero is one. Anything C zero is one. One to the power of nine is one. And this is also 1. Anything to the power of 0 is 1, even if it's a negative number, if it's inside the bracket, it's 1. So this is just going to be 1. And 9c1 is 9. Like, for example, 5c1 would be 5, 10c1 would be 10, and so on. That's fine. And 1 to the power of anything is 1. But now we're going to have times minus 1 over 6x. So that's going to give you the 6 and the 9 will cancel. That will give me 2. And a 3, so it's minus 3 over 2. 
x. So that's the second term. And then for the third term, we're going to have 9c2. Now, to find that, you're going to use this button on the calculator. 9, press shift, and you see the NCR button here? C2, and it will tell you the value of that, which is 36. So this is going to give you 36 times 1, and then you're going to square this. So it's going to be positive. When you square negative 1, it becomes positive. So you're going to have 1 over 6 squared is 36 x squared. Okay, don't forget to square the x as well. So 36 and 36 cancel out. So you're left with just positive x squared. And then you've got 9c3. So we can just change that 2 for a 3. And that's going to give us 84. So this is going to be 84 times 1 to the power of 6 is 1 times... Now you raise something to a negative, you raise a negative number to an even odd power, it stays negative. Then you have 6 to the power of 3, so you have 1 over, is that 216? 6 cubed. Yeah, it's 216, so negative 216 x cubed. So 84 over 216, you could cancel that out. 84 divided by 216, that gives you 7 over 18. So that's going to be 7 over 18 x cubed, and that will be negative. Okay, so now we're going to just write our answer down in a clear manner. So we're going to say now that this is the answer is going to be you have 1 minus this 1 minus 1 over 6 x all to the power of 9 is equal to 1 minus 3 over 2 x plus x squared minus 7 over 18 x cubed. So that's the expansion of this. And here's the answer to part A. Okay. Then it says, part B says, hence find the coefficient of x cubed in the expansion of this 10 plus 10x 10 plus 3 times 1 minus 6x to the power of 9. So we've got our 10x 10, 10 plus 3. And we've got our expansion. Okay, so I'm going to write down the expanded part up to what we have. 1 minus 3 over 2. Oops. 3 over 2. 1 minus 3 over 2x plus x squared minus 7 over 18x cubed. So I need the coefficient of x cubed only. All right, so I'm not going to bother expanding the whole thing out. All I care all I care about is the coefficient of x cubed. So we've got to think of all the ways there are for us to get an x cubed term. If I multiply 10x by 1, I won't get x cubed. 10x by x, the x term, I won't get x cubed, I'll get x squared. But the 10x by the x squared term, if I do an x term times an x squared term, that's going to give me uh, the x cubed term. So I've got 10x times x squared. But then I also have three times this term here. Constant times x cubed term will give me an x cubed term. So I'll have plus three times minus seven over 18 x cubed. So this together will give me the x cubed term. The x cubed term. And be careful about this. In the end of the answer, we have to be careful. That's going to be 10 x cubed. And that's going to be minus, because plus times minus. This cancels with the 18, gives you 6. So minus 7 over 6x cubed. So if we combine them together, that's like 60 over 6x cubed minus 7 over 6x cubed, which gives you 53 over 6x cubed. Okay, so the question is asking for the coefficient of x cubed. So therefore, the coefficient of x cubed is 53 over 6. We don't write the x cubed with it. We just write it without the x cubed. Because that, if it said find the term, find the, the x cubed term, we would write this. It says find the coefficient of x cubed. It's just the number that's multiplying this. And there we have the answer to question number 1. Parts A and B, all about binomial expansion from this P2 exam of June 2024. Um, 
International A-Level Excel. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in the top right of the screen at the end of this video. Um, other questions from the topic of binomial expansion can be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link and the, the link here will take you to a video showing you how to use my channel effectively. Thank you for watching and see you soon.